Hello everyone. Warning, who's plotting mischief? Beware, the surprising consequences from today's video will leave you red-faced. We bring you a compilation of karmic justice at its finest, from moments caught live on camera that will have you unable to contain your laughter. Don't miss out. Thanks to a technical glitch, this female broadcaster seemingly had the opportunity to converse with a giant. Thanks to a technical malfunction, this male broadcaster has rediscovered his long-lost twin siblings. If you're feeling bored, don't worry, just watch our video and turn on notifications for the Happy World channel. Even if they're just rehearsals, I think they should still be practiced beforehand, especially when it comes to broadcasting. This male colleague has walked into the camera frame of his co-worker, and he seems to think it's perfectly normal. The automated cameras seem to enjoy doing their own thing and catching broadcasters off guard. What? Yes, sir. The camera is. The homeowner intended to punish the guest who parked in front of the house, but it seems he chose the wrong weapon. He could never have imagined that sitting in that tiny red car would bring such regrettable consequences. A humorous punishment from the tree for whoever cut it in half. That's why books always update guidelines on sitting posture and discourage individual work during class hours. This female guest was very embarrassed when she realized that the live camera was still on, capturing her massaging her leg. His continuous spinning purpose was perhaps met by a drunken man on the carousel. This young man wanted to vandalize the glass, but he encountered the police earlier than expected. The smile of the colleague behind the lens seemed to momentarily distract the female broadcaster. It's your birthday, I'll let it pass. No, I won't, I'll get you later. It appears that this male broadcaster is in dire need of an air conditioner before he goes on air. I commend the bravery of this disruptor amidst the serious and tense backdrop. Sir, let me tell your story. Seattle police have them hemmed in here and are allowing them to express their message um, as long as they stay in this area. Just over my shoulder here. Due to his penchant for showing off his abilities, this guy's trip took a different, easier route. You might not know it, but while you're sitting at home with a cup of coffee in hand, broadcasters are battling storms to bring you the most accurate news. This cat used its stealthy skills at the right moment, but not in the right place. If I were to score this prank, then your third friend deserves a perfect 10. Even when you're live streaming, never touch a woman because you never know what they'll do next. Say it, bitch. It's tell here for many reasons, and it's just that's just one of the reasons. Yeah, put that on the news. Dude, your soda's on your car. <laughs> your soda's on your car. <laughs> a soaking conclusion for this girl, as she ignored your friend's slow down warning. A perfect ending for the adventurous guy who picked the wrong target. Although the guy in red gave them a chance to make amends, these two cops chose to face the music.
In this case of bad luck, the thief stumbled, and of course, karma followed right after. A valuable lesson about teamwork, they locked the door and lecked upon seeing the police arrive. <laughs> this car came up with a way to avoid traffic jams, and he regretted that decision immediately after. This guy came up with the quickest way to dismantle a gun, with just a squeeze. No! It seems that a terrifying 44-pound cocaine shipment was just discovered and successfully smuggled out. Possess and deliver cocaine. No and I'm told as much as 44 pounds of cocaine. As I said, they're still inside. The consequences of using a pellet gun are like using a toy gun indoors. Life has seemingly dealt a cruel hand to the young man below, even causing him to endure heartache at others' joy. The guy in the red shirt behind seems to have been eagerly awaiting this chance for quite some time, and today truly offers an ideal moment to seize it. The male broadcaster's news segment was momentarily disrupted by the intrusion of an uninvited group of guests. And we've made the apologies for the disruption here. I'll hand back to you in the studio. In a comedy game show, the model's witty response to the phrase on the board elicited uproarious laughter from the audience. Okay. Occasionally, live broadcasts benefit from a touch of excitement, and these two female broadcasters certainly delivered just that. Due to her over-enthusiasm, she inadvertently dropped her iPhone onto the floor, a fitting repetition for her lack of caution. Oh, Edison! Oh my God! Edison! Oh. Careful! In just one careless moment, he unintentionally dropped and shattered his own iPad, a regrettable outcome of his negligence. Can you receive the ball? Ah! <laughs> oh. Bye! I wonder if her being born in the modern era without employing a bow and arrow is considered fortunate or not. Fortunate. Occasionally, even utilizing a high resolution screen isn't the wisest choice. Indeed, women are more loyal than we give them credit for. Whether they're 20, 50 or 70 years old, they still prefer 18-year-old guys. What? This parting doesn't seem to be scripted for the male broadcaster, but it undeniably leaves a lasting impression. A persistent, uninvited guest kept shouting, disrupting Miss Broadcaster's live report, and Karma swiftly decided to intervene. Popeye's favorite food. Chicken! Confident in her answer, yet this girl quickly found herself regretting her hastiness. Keep in mind that your unconscious littering will always be met with the vigilant scrutiny of civic-minded individuals. seems this man has waited a lifetime to raise that sign, and today presents the perfect opportunity to do so. I'm going to be Big Bird, try to irritate Mitt Romney. <laughs> With his male colleague's uproariously funny tale of transforming into a giant bird, this broadcaster couldn't contain his laughter while still on air. <laughs> laughter always has a contagious effect, and that's precisely why they couldn't stop, even while broadcasting live. <laughs> I'm 
吗？哎呀，大我大。With their mischievous antics, the ants immediately caused this female broadcaster to regret her actions. Various, various pessoas, inclusive, que passaram por aqui. Olha a situação. This broadcaster felt immensely embarrassed when presented with a squid during her report, only to accidentally drop it into the sea. I was forgot. I forgot to hold the end of it. Apologies about that. We'll get that out of the sea later. Following this foolish action, he's undoubtedly bound to perform community service at the warehouse for a few years. She believed she'd be pardoned for this juvenile prank, yet she was sorely mistaken. Perhaps in his mind, he yearned for the ability to turn back time to rectify that mistake just one more time. And after digging out of all... Thanks to her impeccable reflexes, this female broadcaster appears to have narrowly dodged a snowball grenade during this live reporting session. During an outdoor live broadcast, the broadcasters found themselves thoroughly perplexed as they were unexpectedly plunged into darkness by a gust of wind. The only wish a male broadcaster harbors at this moment is for the uninvited guests to pause their conversation for a brief moment. This male broadcaster appeared unable to contain his laughter at his colleague's amusingly awkward mishap during today's live broadcast. A broadcaster found himself utterly flustered while reporting when suddenly his colleague inadvertently obstructed his camera lens. This video will illustrate which punishment is more severe than receiving a parking ticket for illegal parking. For brazenly cutting lanes without regard, the white car received an immediate and fitting lesson. Following this mishap, he likely gleaned a crucial lesson about responsible and purposeful car usage. <laughs> For a treat with a captivating video capturing the unbelievable and comical moments from live television, where instant justice befalls the foolish. With the witty banter from this radio host, it feels like they've experienced a truly spine-chilling Halloween day. Part as we head through uh, Halloween, but ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> if you're concerned about the workplace at Moss Fear here, rest assured, because even on Halloween, Kali Gui's will don incredibly charming costumes. This female radio host was utterly taken aback by her male colleague's playful antics on costume day. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Thanks to her remarkable performance abilities, this radio host has injected a considerable amount of fun and excitement into the weather forecast. Good. Sound in the minute. Whoa. Oh. Here we go. Whoa. Hey ho. Yeah. This male radio host appears to have infused an eerie charm into this news presentation by expertly utilizing the green screen. Also means temperatures will be dropping much colder in the forecast. <laughs> As I reckon, today's weather forecast has garnered significant attention from children due to the delightful dinosaur costume donned by this male radio host. Today, tomorrow, at least the first part of Sunday, How much money the West Island SPCA says they need to... It seems this cat also has something to convey during its owner's Lee broadcast. The mischievous antics of this cat have rendered the female radio host unable to stifle her laughter while she remains on air. <laughs> while the radio host is engaged in a live interview, a persistent cat has been causing quite a stir 
much to his chagrin. This audience prank appears to have been a roaring success, as every guest seemed genuinely petrified by it. Exercise caution. When joining this program for their pranks, meticulously crafted not only in costumes, but also in sound and lighting, are uncannily authentic. What? This radio host had her colleagues in stitches with her peculiar stance and unintended misinterpretations. Trust me, from now on, you'll have every reason to eagerly await the weather forecast. This might just mark the finale of witnessing this gentleman steering the animal show. The boundless enthusiasm of the dog today seemed to render the female radio host incapable of restraining her laughter. It seems an uninvited guest has adeptly seized the live spotlight to carve their own path to fame. I'm Greg Ross with the All-Star Fan Experience. I've shelved any aspirations of becoming a weather forecaster after witnessing this man's live performance. The Prime Minister of India inadvertently took a spill while all the live cameras were focused on him. Despite being hosted by a female MC, it seems someone else has stolen the audience's attention. To really brush up on their bare summer season to do so, especially as many of you will be embarked. Even if you're a beautiful broadcaster, the savage nature of tigers is unmistakable, so it's best not to get too close. Ah! Oh my gosh! Though inanimate, this tree knows exactly how to seek vengeance on those who've caused it harm. Ooh, help me. Thanks to someone's foolish antics, it appears the work day for the employees had to be prolonged. This guy will enlighten you on why trying to emulate Spider-Man at home is not a good idea. Today has turned into an unproductive workday due to their lack of experience. This brow will school that guy on what true anger looks like. This video is precisely why people always advise you to use your head and not just your feet in your endeavors. Keep your phone handy because it might pop up at any moment, even when it's not needed. This man provoked an elephant and as a consequence had to beat a hasty retreat. This serves as yet another reason why you shouldn't rely on makeshift items like this board. I deeply appreciate your ongoing support and encouragement. It serves as a significant motivator for me to continue along this path. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the latest content. Thank you immensely for your support and I hope you find enjoyment in this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next ones.